You know, the interesting thing about parts is they come in all kinds of sizes. Take these ball bearings, for instance. <laughs> yep, that's a penny. These are two, mil two millimeter inside diameter and six millimeter outside diameter. And I could have got some that are even smaller than that. You might be asking yourself, what are you doing with bearings that are so small? I couldn't figure out why my computer was running so poorly. It, programs that kind of get all over key jerky or every once in a while it would crash. Uh, I finally figured out that the graphics card was overheating the processor and it was because the bushings and the little fan in there were getting all munged up and uh, the fan was all rattling around and stuff making noise and, and uh, so I tried replacing the bushings with some little motor bushings that I had, just plain bronze and uh, those didn't really work any better. Then I got some little ball bearing races like um, like these little guys. Uh, but the ones I had were salvaged and I had to kind of mistreat them to get them out of the thing that I had them in before, which I think was an old uh, disk drive part or something. Anyway, uh, the bearings I have here, I'm going to show you how to install those today in the uh, fan motor on the graphics card. Most people wouldn't try this. Um, I couldn't really find a replacement for that uh, integral heat sink fan thing. Um, it's either that, find a replacement for that, which is hard, or, or um, get a new uh, video card. I'm really not going to do either one. I'm going to fix this and see how it works. All right. Of course, step one is remove the graphics card from the PC. And there's the culprit right there. And um, I don't know if you can see uh, my old ball bearing races are still in there. I take this apart and show you how to do it. Naturally, the first step is to remove the uh, fan thing from the uh, circuit board here. And to do that, there are these fun little uh, spring-loaded um, kind of spring-loaded screw things here. And then you give those a couple turns. You can see there, there's kind of a springy dingy do there. Um, and I think that's to, it's to secure the heatsink against the IC without having to worry about having everything uh, rigidly locked together or uh, shifting a little bit. Of course, I'd recommend removing the uh, connector before you take the fan off, which I neglected to do. The, uh, graphics processor and um, some heat sink compound on there. And there's the heat sink fan assembly. And evidently, uh, a lot of people had trouble with this particular video card. The NVIDIA something, GeForce something. Anyway, uh, yeah, I guess there's a bad batch of these little fans or something. Uh, pretty much makes the whole video card useless. Anyway, we're going to remove these screws here, those two, and these two right here, and then this plastic cowling will come off. Okay, now we have that apart, and uh, you can kind of firmly but gently just pull the impeller out. Now, the first time you do that, it's going to be a lot harder. I just kind of had these uh, ball bearing races kind of press fit in. What holds this shaft in is this little, um, it's kind of a plastic water washer with little uh, fingers on it. That little plastic washer is what holds the shaft in place. There's kind of a thing cut into it. What do you call that? Uh, groove. There are my two old bearings and for comparison two new bearings and I hope they're not too big around. Um, just figuring on having to rework the inside diameter of this to get them to fit in. I ordered oversized diameter bearings because I knew I had kind of messed up the plastic bore on the inside when I was messing around with it the first time. I tried to push in some brass bushings, bronze bushings, and they kind of junked up the side. So. Um, like I said, I'm going to oversize this hole. Um, I haven't totally figured out what tool I'm going to use to do that, but um, 
you will see shortly. Welcome to a bit of a snag. Uh, I found, found a drill bit that was about the right size for the bearings. I started to drill into the housing that I, <laughs> evidently holds on the um, kind of business part of the motor here and it kind of broke it off. So, a uh, bit of a minor setback. I'm going to have to kind of probably file this most of the way down or off so that there's um, this is kind of bent sideways and I have to be able to get this centered on and uh, also make it small enough to uh, fit my other bearings on, uh, which are on the rotor here. Uh, now I'll take this opportunity to point out that if I hadn't tried to fix it with with uh, regular plain bushings originally, I wouldn't have this problem. Also, the way I this is the original bushing. And the way I got it out was that I took a small screw and I threaded it into the bushing and pulled it out with pliers. That worked fine. Um, and I I measured these this bushing with a micrometer. It came out to pretty close to five millimeters which is the same same outside diameter as these bearings that I had in at first, but these were no good and I had kind of messed up the hole already by trying to press in a bushing. If you do something like this, you shouldn't have this particular problem, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, take that off, I'm going to epoxy this on, find a little section of really thin walled plastic tubing, almost like a soda straw or something, and put that on the outside of these bearings to um, get it to push or uh, somehow be locked in into what's left on the inside of this. Okay, I found two of these little uh, plastic, probably nylon bushings and uh, they are six millimeters on the inside diameter so my, my bearings will fit right in there. I take both of them and I'm gonna put them on some kind of a good smooth piece of uh, shafting, probably not this, it's a little rough. And I'm going to work down the outside diameter where I can I can get that uh, probably glue in place. So I'll get both of those on and then uh, I can put it all together hopefully. Okay, I abandoned the plastic bushings and I found some some bronze bushings. Get it down to just the right diameter. I got the other one over here and the lock tied it in side of the wires that I've broken off while I'm working on it. Then I can epoxy that part back onto heat sink here. And then I will be just about done. A little small washer. Put it if I can. A little small washer. Down to the bottom. <laughs> Yet another thing that I had to fix. Uh, I was uh, trying to knock the top down on this bushing here just to file it a little bit. And I broke one of the windings here in the motor. So I got in there and dug out the two ends, brought out a loop, soldered them together. Now I'm going to glue that down with Loctite. But I just tested it and it works now, so. Another disaster averted. As far as these bushings go, um, they're looking pretty good. Um, and everything fits together really well. Uh, I'm about to start getting the Loctite out and put the, let's see, put the bearings on the rotor with, with Loctite and then ever so carefully put the tiniest bit on the uh, outside of the bearings. Uh, you know, of course the risk is that it get it in between or something and, and uh, lock up the bearings. Don't want it. So there you have it. Beautiful working fan with the occasional really funny sounding Sound. I don't know what that is, but uh, I don't know, maybe I had some Loctite migrate around on me or something. 
it'll work, and I think it'll work for a long time. That's how you do it.